Welcome back. I probably don't have to tell you this, but women are more stressed than ever. We are working, raising families, taking care of the house, sometimes homeschooling. And at the end of the day, there's not a lot left in the tank. So how do you show up for you and overcome the stress? Our next guest says, well, we all need to have some playtime. Tiff Grotten McDuffie is the founder of Purposeful Play and She Plays. And we're so excited to have her here. Good morning to you, Tiff. Good morning, ladies. I'm so grateful to be back. How are you, ladies? Hello. Good. We're doing well. Thanks for joining us. So let's talk about this. Um, before we get into to, um, She Plays, uh, you, you started Purposeful Play, and that's what people kind of knew about. And then you turned it into She Plays as well. Why did you make the transition to have both of those? There was just such a um, desire to help the moms as well and to just help women everywhere um, ignite more joy. We were in this process of like creating all these experiences and joyful moments for the kids. And you look around and moms, including myself, were like stressed and burned out. We're like, hey, we deserve to have some fun, too. You know, yeah. I, I think the, the tough thing about this, because I think of this similar to reading, is how do we make time for it? Because I think sometimes we put it off because we're like, well, I have to get this done and take care of the kids and cook dinner and make sure the bills are paid and whatever it else it is as part of our daily routine. And then we think, well, then I'll take some time for myself. And then we're usually so tired. But, but, but what's your suggestion in terms of truly making time for ourselves? Because I think as moms, we're so used to tending to other people. It, we're nurturers by by design. And so really just there's, you're never gonna be able to make more time. You just have to take the time. You really need to just put yourself in your calendar and keep those appointments with yourself like you would a business meeting. So if that's gym time, if that's spa time, if that's a nap, you know, we just really need to put those things in our schedules and keep promises to ourselves like we keep everyone else. It's not easy. So I'm not saying, you know, it's going to be the easiest thing ever, but it's totally possible if we do it and we deserve it. So is this just for moms then or is this are you trying to include all working women or all women? All, all women, all women. Um, you know, whether you're a working mom or a stay at home mom, let's be real, it's work. Um, but but women who don't have children who are just climbing the corporate ladder, just busy, ambitious women are, especially in this pandemic time, you know, caring for other family members, reaching out to friends. And so um, we, again, we're nurturers by trait. And so this movement is really for all women to kind of give back to themselves and, and be playful again. You know, I think people are thinking about play wrong. The definition for play is spontaneous moments of joy. Who who could need mm. more spontaneous joy? So, you know, every woman deserves that. Absolutely. I'm, I'm just trying to unwrap my uh, jump rope here as we look at these awesome pictures <laughs> um, from a She Play Day that you had recently. And I wonder if there were mm -hmm. some aha moments that you had for people who participated in the Women's Play Day. I think women really came to the conclusion that they had to take this time for themselves. There were so many who just like, um, who registered, who were just like, well, I have the box, but I'm going to be running around all day. This this conference was long, and I learned along the way. It was from 8.30 Central Time to 3.30, so it was six hours, and we really never went under 50 women who were on screen all day long, and they were just pouring into themselves from yoga to jump rope, physical fitness, you know, mindset, and like, how do we make the time to do this? And then even for people who own their own businesses, there was a segment on that, and we just had games all in between. So, so many laughs, so many smiles. It was just great to see the women like having a good time, and afterwards, they were just like, oh my God, I should do this more often. You know, I, I'm still reeling. You know, it's been almost a week and they're still reeling and those endorphins are still flowing and they're thinking about how they're going to fit it in, you know, in their own schedules. So really awesome time. I love that you did that. And I think, and there it is. Yeah, I have my jump rope here because I wanted to talk about this box. And um, Tiff, you were so nice to send one to us. And, and Tiff, you have one here at work on your desk too. But there's this awesome essential oil that, that's called Prosperity and this little candle. And there's a tennis ball and there's like a spa mask and there's like a mask to keep you safe. <laughs> <laughs> Our producer, Paul, just goes, we get it. <laughs> um, but this box is so fun for, the, 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 for women to play and to do things that are just finding moments of joy. 
Absolutely. It's like they were all just very practical things. And the tennis ball, you know, it could be a stress ball. You could actually go play tennis. You could massage in our shoulders where we hold all of the stress. And so especially, again, during COVID and, like you know, this isolated time, just receiving something in the mail, like having a present. There's also a balloon in there. And I made all the women blow it up. And they're like, wait, what? And we're like, yeah, blow the balloon. It's a party. Blow the balloon. And they did. And it was it was just a great time. Do you think you're going to host another one of these? I would think that there's a lot of people who told people about it and said, I would like to do that too. You know, so we're going to do something small on a quarterly basis um, through the She Plays platform. But I think we have officially declared that the second sec the second Saturday in October every year is International Women's Day of Play. It's almost halfway to International Women's Day. So my personal challenge is like get it on the everyday calendar somewhere. And so the second Saturday in October every year we will do this thing. Um, and hopefully at some point we'll be able to do it live across several cities. One thing that was really awesome is that we had women from everywhere you know like there was someone from australia there was someone who was in yeah. mexico in canada and all across the nation so it really gave us the opportunity to not just be local to milwaukee or chicago which is where i'm based but you know women everywhere were on and it, it, it really demonstrated it's a universal issue that we're facing and here's a universal solution thank you so Great much job. tiff i appreciate it and tiffany this will be on your desk when you come in this is a fantastic gift box for women to learn more about how to play. I love it. All right, here's a website for more information about playtime for you. It is she'sgotaplay.com.